Good morning, good morning. Uh, hello everybody, welcome back for another video. This is gonna be a very quick, brief video and I'm gonna to talk to you about something that I know a little bit about from my childhood and this is uh, baseball. And this is a projectile and this is a projectile that if thrown at um, 90 miles per hour uh, and you hit the batter, it, it causes injury, it causes pain and 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 there are videos on YouTube that show some of some of this kind of thing. So, uh, just for example, here you see this guy is getting hit in the shoulder, and this guy's getting hit on the leg. And and the whole point here is that these these guys, these players, are getting hit with a high amount of energy from this baseball. This baseball, average baseball, is about 148 grams. And this is my prized Cleveland Indians baseball from Jacobs Field back in the day and my Grady Sizemore bobblehead from back in the day uh, when I used to live in Cleveland. Uh, and so I just want to do a few numbers here and tell you 148 grams thrown at 90 miles per hour. If you do a little math, 90 miles per hour is 132 feet per second. So when you put all that together, that's 120 joules of energy being delivered by the baseball. And, and it, you know, these may be 90 miles per hour, maybe more. Uh, at the end of the day, most of these batters in these videos, and I'll put a link to the video uh, in the description. Uh, also, I'll give you the title so you can, you can search it as well in case the link is removed. Um, but the most of the batters here get very angry. They're not intimidated they actually want to fight. So I think we just need to think think a little bit more carefully about the, a baseball versus a jewel, for example. The size is very different. Uh, the other obvious difference is that the baseball you can see. The batters are trained. They, they're watching the baseball come. They can flinch. They can move slightly. They can avoid injury by you know, making slight movements. I think the advantage in less lethal is not so much the joules because this is delivering 120 joules. Maybe we deliver 50 at best with this one. But the advantage with the less lethal, in my opinion, is that it's traveling much faster than 132 feet per second. Uh, if we're going 380 feet per second, uh, you're getting to the point where this is so small and it's moving so fast that you can't see it. And I think that element of surprise is really important. It's something we probably don't fully appreciate in this in this less lethal world. Um, so that's, I think, part of the beauty of it. You can't see it. You can't anticipate where it's going to hit. It's going to be a surprise. The element of surprise is very important. And so um, I don't think, I don't want to dismiss the baseball analogy, but I think you can learn something from that. If the person is prepared and they're waiting on the shot and they're flinched and tensed, they can tolerate it and in fact they could handle it quite well. But if you if you approach your less lethal preparation and your shots in a way where you you don't um, you vary your shots, maybe you shoot in different spots, uh, I think that element of surprise and not knowing where the next one's going to hit and or even not knowing where the shots are coming from uh, by the way you move, the way you uh, hide and and find a you know a, a way to get out of the way. I think there's a lot of things you can do to try to inc to to um, make it more random, make it more variable, and make it hurt. And and I think those are the things that element of surprise is really in your advantage. So that's just what I was thinking today. I just thought I would pass that along, and and I'll, and of course share with you my prize baseball. So everybody have a good day and just something to think about for this Wednesday.